morning and happy Wednesday. Yesterday ended a little rough. Not going to go into it here. I elaborated on Facebook, but uh, today, today's a new day. Today's going to be great. Starting it with an old, I wouldn't even say childhood friend, I would say childhood brother. Inseparable as kids. His name is Israel Spiro. Uh, he was a hotshot lawyer in a hotshot firm. He decided to leave and get his priorities straight, and he opened up his own firm, and now he's, again, a hotshot lawyer, but his own boss. Super proud of him, super excited to, to sit and catch up. After that, heading to Facebook Tel Aviv to meet Yael, who was introduced to me via Tag Adler, who leads recruiting there. Tag's somewhat of a legend, and from what I hear from Tag, Yael's also a legend, so I'm excited to meet her. After that, going to I-24 News. Just want to give a shout out. I just started my morning watching the Ask Gary V show with Tim Ferriss and then tweeted that a new item on my bucket list is to meet Tim Ferriss. Tools of Titans changed my world. That's not even an exaggeration. Specifically the Canvas Strategy chapter. Amazing book. His new book, Tribe of Mentors, I believe it's called, looks amazing. Gotta pick myself up a copy of that book. It looks it looks incredible. It sounds incredible. Tim Ferriss is somewhat of a legend, so I, I, I genuinely hope to one day meet him. And you know what? While I, I laugh at myself when I say these things, if I'm able to meet Waz, if I'm able to, able to communicate and be buddy-buddy with Mark Andreessen, these people are legends, so Tim Ferriss is next on my bucket list. One day it'll happen. Anyway, off to my first meeting. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be there early, so I'm gonna try to drone before. We'll see if that works. Wow, the weather nowadays here in Israel is bonkers. It's raining, it's hot, it's cold, it's windy, it's not. All right, I'm in this new place called Hartu, outside of HMS, looking for this guy's office. No idea where I'm going. Don't you just hate when you're at building Building 12, and you're supposed to go to building 10, and you don't know if the buildings are going up or down on the road. Yes, I went the wrong direction. Got a long walk. Found the building, I think. Yes, indeed. Spiro and Co. You know you've made it when Waze says the name of your company, not just your address. So I am in this random ass place. There are children watching. Watch your language. Where the heck are we? We're in Hartu, which is an industrial area That's right outside. I turned off, make sure I get notifications. Right outside of uh, Beit Shemesh. Okay. Why Hartu? Well, I live in Beit Shemesh. Liron lives in Jerusalem. Everyone who works here lives in Jerusalem or okay. around here. Fine, I got it. Very, very chill place here, I have to say. Very um, tranquil, is that a word? Yeah. Peaceful. Peaceful, I like it. All right, back up a little bit. We're gonna try to sum up 20 years of a relationship in four minutes, so good luck with that. This is Israel Spiro who I said earlier today, if I call him a childhood friend, that is actually just insulting, I would say. Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brother, like brothers from another mother. Literally grew up like hanging out, inseparable as kids. This is Lerona's partner. And Yisrael basically was, again, you can close your ears if I'm embarrassing you, but let's just say it as it is, was an up and coming hotshot lawyer working at one of the biggest law firms in Israel that is objectively uh, recognized as one of the, hot, the hottest firms in Israel. And on your way, quick way to the partner. Is that accurate to say? Can I, I say actually was a partner. You were a partner? I was a partner. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brother from another mother. Awkward. <laughs> um, okay. I, didn't, I actually didn't know that. Okay, so you were a partner. Okay, so you gotta be one of the younger partners there. The I partner. was the youngest partner. Okay, so hot shot lawyer. And I, I, this, you told me this many years ago and it stuck in my head. Um, you said, I could not find time to learn with my kids. That's true. And so he picked up, gave up on a golden career and said, screw this, I'm doing it all over, build it up from the ground up, I'm the boss, and I can decide when to go into the room with my kids. Love that, it's amazing. It's not many people, not many people. We'll talk about it, we'll, we'll, we'll do that off camera, that's amazing. All right, so you started this firm, how long ago? I started the firm almost four years ago. Four years ago, your own hands. Started by myself, two, three clients that, uh, that joined me, and uh, we're now five lawyers, office manager, and we love what we do. I mean, you're, this place is like, like I feel like I'm in somewhat of another country here. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, it happens to be that his brother is a hotshot interior designer who designed this whole place, but um, it really looks amazing. We'll do a little walk around in a second, but tell me on your services, what do you do exactly? What, what? Well, basically, um, we're transactional corporate lawyers, so what we know how to do is we like to work with high net worth individuals and um, basically escort them with anything that they need, any type of, tra any type of transaction. May I give you a piece of advice? Yes. Accompany them. 
sounds better than escort. So we escort. accompany him. Because escort has a you know, connotation of <laughs> right, the oldest business in the world. So we Sin. accompany him. I was, I was learning with my daughter this morning. I kid you not. I was learning the books of the prophets this morning with my daughter. And it said, it described the woman, Rachav, as Isha Zonai, a prostitute. In the time, at the time, when the Bible was written, that was a legitimate profession. Right. How do you explain to a six-year-old what that means? Right. So this all just went off topic here. Right. right. I mean, there's many people that say that that's basically what lawyers are. Oh, snap. But, I didn't want to say <laughs> But uh, so we accompany our, our clients in uh, the full gamut of their investment activity. Um, so that's one thing that we do. Okay. We represent companies both on their corporate needs, investments, mergers and acquisitions, whatever's going on up there, and on their commercial needs, their everyday contracts, whatever it is that they need. And obviously, we're in Israel here, right? So we have our share fair of uh, startups. Okay. Um, without mentioning names, and this is not live, so we could edit this out if we're not allowed to talk about it. Without mentioning any names, can we talk about the fact that you get a congratulations this week, or are we not allowed to talk about that? Well, we had, we, can, we can't mention names, but we had, uh, oh, we can, we can mention uh, what's public. We represented LGM Pharma, which is uh, actually, a friend of both of ours growing up as well, who sold uh, his company or the majority stake of his company to a private equity fund. So yeah, it's the first exit this week, is it? Or not your first, but your biggest exit. Well, we've done a lot of MA work, but that's definitely the biggest that we've done here. Super awesome. Yeah. You've accompanied him because I, I know because he's also invested. In, you've accompanied him for years. He's been with me for 10 years. Pretty awesome. Pretty yeah. awesome. Pretty awesome. We've done a lot of stuff. That's today. amazing to hear. So, just if, if in kind of give me give me your elevator pitch in terms of the type of law. Like, what's your elevator? If I'm a startup, or if I'm a company, if I'm a corporate, if I'm whoever, why why should I hire Spiro Law? You would hire us because we are extremely capable, big firm experience. So we have the sophistication of seeing all the complex issues that can come up. And we're small, so we're, we're wearing t-shirts and jeans. Oh, and you stop stealing her thunder? Tell me about you. <laughs> Jeez, man, give her, give her a stage. <laughs> You're right. So I, I forced her to be on camera. She had quite a morning. A little flat tire action. Like changed it with her own white scarf. It was a tough morning. <laughs> tough morning for her. Still gonna get that part with the white scarf. Yeah, she was wearing a white scarf. I guess yeah. throw it out. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, what's your background, real quick? I studied law and accounting in the EV University. I also have an MBA in finance. So you're a smart one. Um, She's the smart one. So you don't only look smart, you actually are smart. Because <laughs> yeah, you got the whole look going on with glasses. On okay. I can could, I could take it off. I actually like myself without glasses. Um, All right. And I just, I did my internship in high tech okay. in one of the biggest law firms in Israel. Cool. And I fell in love with the, the realm. I fell in love with the work. I fell in love with the people. And I continued working. How did you guys connect? Um, actually, her husband worked with me in the oh, old yeah. firm that I worked at. This is how business gets done in Israel. Right. I always say this. Like, I was at uh, a restaurant last week and I was talking actually to a lawyer and next, next, literally the next table to me was some other lawyer. They were just talking and literally just got up and like deals were done. Right. Something's happened in this country. Her right. husband, her, I love it. I actually love that, by the way. Part of the DNA of the Israeli ecosystem. That's true. Anyway, I'm going to end this right now because we're going to do a little walk around and then they have another meeting in four minutes. All right. so let's do a little walk around. Thanks, guys. This was awesome. Right, so basically we just took a hanger. We took a hanger, so you can see the high ceilings outside. Hey, what does a hanger mean? It's like just like a massive warehouse. warehouse. Yeah. Warehouse. So we have like six meter ceilings. Love that. And my brother, who's a designer, Chazi Spiro, so he plug Chazi Spiro to the website. He does, Jerusalem Design. JerusalemDesign.com? Yes, JerusalemDesign.com. JerusalemDesign.com. That is it. Wow, man. So uh, we made this chet shaped. Uh, Love it. Structure. The idea was maybe at some point to also have like a loft and bean bags and something Sweet. techy up there. I love the red mezuzah, man. Look at that. Did yes. I actually did that? Stealth. I actually did that. I Love bought it. white mezuzahs, Love bought it. red spray paint. Love it. For 15 shekel. It's like awesome. six bucks. And it's uh, awesome. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Rachel. Hey, Rachel, what's up? Rachel, what? what's your last name? Israeli. Rachel is real. And I love working here. Oh, right. <laughs> he, when he, you tell me the truth when he's not here. You paid her for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. And that's it. We got our rooms. We got Spiro our. And Co. Man, you guys are hot shots because when I looked on Waze for your address. Hey, what's up? Good, how I know are you? you? Well, this is a cool place. Guys, thanks for having me. This was awesome. And uh, what's your website? SpiroLaw.com. SpiroLaw.com. Yep. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. This was awesome. On my way to uh, Facebook Israel and Yael, who I'm meeting, the recruiter in Tel Aviv, postponed the mini meeting a little bit. So I stopped off at Ben Gurion Airport to pick up a little something something. What's up? My iPhone 10 just arrived. Booyah. That's the good news. The bad news is, no cameras in Facebook. 
Not even going to bring the camera in. You'll have to take my word for it. That place is epic. I took a major risk by going into Ben Gurion Airport. I wasn't sure if I would make it on time, but literally making it to Facebook three minutes before the meeting. Got to find parking on Rothschild. Just finished up at Facebook. A few things. Number one, Yael, who's the local recruiter, local market recruiter here in Israel, is awesome. Second of all, I love how Israeli tech works. We connected through Tag Adler, who's lead recruiter at Facebook, and he introduced us just random, more for business. Turns out, yeah, I went to school with my little brother. Turns out I know her husband well. Like, this is the way things happen in this country. It's such a small little ecosystem, and everyone just, I just love that. Random thought. Second of all, the Facebook office, probably the most awesome office in this entire country. The roof is ridiculous. Beautiful, beautiful view of all of Tel Aviv. The worst part though, is that it is so beautiful and they don't let you take in a camera. Couldn't record anything. They're like super duper confidential, like confidentiality there is key. And so, um, yeah, couldn't record in there, so I apologize, but it really is an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable office. Now, I'm heading to I-24 News to talk about Elon Musk's new roadster, among several other stories. And, um, yeah, like I said before, yesterday was rough. Today, so far, has been pretty great. Very excited to get home this evening and unbox this bad boy. Been excited, been waiting for this. I pre-ordered it, so it took like a month plus to get here, but uh, it has landed, and I'm... Pretty darn excited to unbox it and to replace my iPhone 7 Plus with my new iPhone 10 off to i24. So I did have a uh, lunch meeting set up with a friend of mine, Rob, who had to cancel last minute, which means I need to eat. So I'm going to the best falafel in Tel Aviv. I love this place, of course. Hello! Hey, what is hey, what's That's up? What I'm talking about. Sorry about that. No, 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 please come back. Please come back. <laughs> this, this is the people you walk into in the, in the streets of Tel Aviv. This guy. Who are you? I'm Nero Fear. You're not just Nero Fear, though. I'm Nero. This guy, man. How, how long have you been building startups? Since I've been in wow. diapers. Seriously, how many years have you been building startups? Since 2000. That's 17 years. Wow. No. It's too much. I need years. to retire. Man, you've, you've had more startups than I have pairs of socks, and I have a lot of socks. <laughs> Let's catch up. Let's have coffee soon, or steak. Who you choose? Anyway, that's Tel Aviv. I love it. Going to uh, the best, the best falafel in the country. Or, I don't know, I haven't tried all falafels in the country, but one of my favorites. And uh, it's like a mom and pop shop, husband and wife actually. And uh, they treat me well. So I'm gonna eat it with no carbs, of course. You know, no bread. Love this place. Anyway, then I'm heading to I-24, so took a little break on the way. I was early, ate some falafel, and now I'm late. Going live on I-24 in like 35 minutes, and it's a 25 minute drive. Wish me luck. The wind today is crazy, which is really annoying, unless, unless you're in Jaffa by the water, and then you get amazing waves. So, I'm walking here in Jaffa on my way to I-24, and I bump into this dude. Hey, how's it going? T-shirt. Look at that, you just happen to have a camera. Yeah. And Total coincidence that I'm bumping into him. No, it's not a total coincidence. This is John Karras, serial entrepreneur. You've met him before. The guy, you know, you're gonna think I'm making this up, but I'm actually not making this up. The guy launched Screen Shop with a P. What, last week now? Two, uh, weeks, two ago? weeks ago. Two weeks ago, with a certain woman as his partner in the launch, in the company, who goes by a, a, a certain name that starts with a Kim and ends with a Kardashian. You getting this? Kim Kardashian launched this guy's app with him. The thing went, Psychotically viral. Uh, yeah, no, we had over 900 million page views. Say that number again, please. 900 million. So she, Kim Kardashian put it on her Instagram, put it on her Snapchat, put it on her Twitter, put it on her Facebook. I think, uh, I think that was it. I think it was just, yeah, it, yeah in, Instagram uh, and Twitter uh, primarily. I mean, because Kim Kardashian yeah. puts my stuff on her Twitter every day. So I know, right? It's like totally not a big deal, whatever. No, and she's whatever. really a sweetheart. It's amazing. You were like on her show. Yeah, yeah, I was on her show. So you were on, what's the name of the show? Something with the Kardashians? Uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Keeping Up With The Kardashians. You were on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Probably the only guy with one of these on the show. That's, yeah, that's, by the way, you know what's awesome about yours? It stays on your head. Mine's that's, in my pocket because the wind. Uh, not, not today. Wait, so you were on Keeping Up With Kardashians. You launched your app with Kimberly. Yeah. Are you guys on a first name basis? Uh, yeah, well, I think everybody's on a first name basis. Yeah, but are you like buddies? Um, we've had, enough, yeah, I mean, we've had plenty of interactions. 
uh, you know, uh, some phone calls. She is, uh, she's actually quite a, uh, a UI UX uh, what? specialist. What? I know, you wouldn't, you, it's... She's I, smart, I, honestly. Oh, you can't say if she's not, but... No, well, okay. She is incredibly articulate, and she knows her, her market better than anybody else. That's incredible. I know. I mean, I've, I've actually never, I've literally never, ever in my life, and I've seen my share of things go viral. I have holy cow, that guy's driving fast. I have never seen numbers go up that fast. When I was watching her Instagram as she posted it, like it was going up by the 50,000. No, yeah, but the first time that I uh, that I saw it, when I refreshed the page, it already had like 30,000 uh, likes on yeah, it. Yeah, but it was, it was literally going up by the 50,000s. Like I well, would refresh, boom, another 50,000, boom, another 50. I mean, it's it's her audience is perfect. We find things that our celebrities are wearing. That was my next question. What do you do? All right, let's start. So what, okay. what do we do? So Come in we're the front. free app. People say that I always interview people in the back. So let's, let's keep you in the front here. Talk okay. to me. So ScreenShop is a free app that all you have to do to get it is go to GetScreenShop.com. That's it's, with a P. Yep, it's with a P. Now, what we do is we take your Instagram feed, we take your Snapchat feed, we take any website, anything that's on your phone, you take a screenshot of it, and we show you where you can buy those items, the exact item or similar item, for cheap. So that means you want to look like a star, but you don't want to pay the same money that a star is paying for their clothing. So ScreenShop, with a P, will show you how to do it. Here, take a screenshot of my outfit. Go, right now. Screen, okay. Get screenshop.com, right? Yep. And so you guys launched iPhone only, but you're beta. Uh, no, I, uh, iPhone and Android. Oh. The Android is uh, still in beta, but it's catching up rapidly. But it's publicly available. Yeah, yeah, you can just download it. Love it, dude. Amazing. We, we talked a couple of weeks ago before it was live. Now it's live. Can we talk about numbers? You don't want to go there uh, now. So we're not talking about the downloads, but I can tell you in the first weekend, we had over a million screenshots uh, uploaded to us. In one weekend. Yep, in one weekend. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Yep. It's, Holy uh, freaking. It's, it's fabulous. Unbelievable. Well, we're going live uh, on I-24 in like 12 minutes. My hair is going nuts because it's very windy you here. Look good. You look good. So I'm going to thank you, sir. Uh, you learn from the best, the beard man. Anyway, so I'm going to turn this thing off and we're going to actually run to the studio because we're super late. But awesome to, to bump into you. You know that's bump the biggest. Bump into you. Bump into you. You know that's the biggest selfie stick I've ever seen. Yeah, this is a quite a heavy tripod. By the way, my arm is like I, I'm. I know, I'm playing you know, it. I'm playing it all cool. My arm actually kills me. Exactly. Right I was, you, your your biceps must be fat. This is a long interview. Like usually my interviews are a little more snappy. My, this is a long interview and I can't feel my arm right now. Yep. Thanks a lot, man. All right, thank I, you. Get screenshot. No, no, but, th no but thank you for my arm, man. Oh, well, uh, I guess I, I have an aspirin if you need it. You, is there an app for that? I was going to say, haven't, haven't the Jews suffered enough? Yeah, yeah. All right, later, people. We made it. It's a lot less windy in here. Uh, We're going live in five. A few days ago, we told you about Kim Kardashian's new shopping app that is being dubbed the Shazam of fashion. Please welcome Jonathan Joseph Karras. Yeah. Karras of Screenshop, and we have our hello fold here, Mr. Tech, and he's very happy. I've never, like he's like starstruck by you right now, a little bit. <laughs> what do you think about Screenshop? I mean, this before is meeting him, remarkable. He's too humble. I mean, the numbers. I mean, obviously it's Kim Kardashian, but the technology and the ability to just take everything we see in our social feeds and turn them into a real shopping experience. The world becomes a shopping experience, right? Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. It's remarkable. I know this guy for a long time. I mean, they don't make him like this anymore. This is a real hardcore entrepreneur, and this thing is going to change the way we shop. Period. Oh, Full amazing. Stop. Was Uber partnered up with Volvo. While you're in the Uber, you could you could shop. Yeah, there you go. So right. So actually, it's a good point. Very good point. So uh, Uber is partnering with Volvo to bring a whole autonomous fleet of uh, self-driving cars. Uh, and interestingly, they chose Volvo. They're obviously all the car manufacturers are making autonomous cars nowadays. Uh, I have, have, happen to love the Volvo Jeep that they are, are acquiring. I think it's XC90, if I'm not mistaken. In the olden days, I wanted your camel. I have straw. How much did I want your? I'm, I'm, being, I'm simplifying. Two in. How, how much did I want your camel? That's how much how much straw I gave you. There was no middleman. Today, we put these banks in the middle, and I have to pay the bank to trade my money for me. Why? To hold Bit, your money. To hold my money and to trade. To withdraw it. your money. Bitcoin decentralizes it and removes all barriers and removes the middleman basically. And you know, there's still talk. Is it a bubble? Is it not a bubble? I don't know. But each Bitcoin is worth over 8,000 US dollars. So, you know, you can't dismiss it. You can't belittle it. You could say it's a, a bubble and it will burst. I don't know that. I don't know whether it is or it isn't, but it's not something you can dismiss. All yeah. right, well, thank you. All right. Hello. Look at the Jaffa sky. It's like almost biblical. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. It was a great one. All that's left to do now is to go home and play. Enjoy I-24. See you tomorrow.